Hi friends, my name is David and in today tutorial I want to show you how to send emails from your web server to your clients using your Gmail account. In this Gmail account you are going to use a Gmail API. I will start by creating a simple project and once I open in the project directory I'll open CMD here. In order to use a Google API, you, you need to install Google client libraries. So you need to have a Compose installed in your computer and this Compose is going to download the libraries into the directory of your project. So let me open CMD and to ensure that you have Compose installed in your computer, you can type this command Compose V. This is hyphen not underscore Compose underscore V. You can see Compose version this one. This means that Compose is installed in your computer and the environment variable is set correct. Now we are going to use this compose to download the libraries for Google Client. I will use this command compose that require Google for the slash API client and this version. And make sure when you run this command you have an internet connection. The system will download the dependence and install to your directory. After complete, you can see in your project directory some files and this folder have been created. This compose is to manage is contain the list of API that is downloaded. And in the composer here, this composer contains libraries. As you can see, this is the Firebase. You can see this Google. You can see if I open in Google here in the API client, the source here, lots of Google API have been downloaded but we are going to deal with only gmail api the same way you can do with other apis i'm creating an index.php as a home page and i can set my jump control panel to point in the this directory of my project i'll add here the i copy the project directory path this path I add in the document root in the HTTP config file and I'm going to save it so that when I run at a default port it open in my index.php file as the home page. So now you can navigate to the index.php at default port so I configured my server to only require internet or any network if I refresh you can see in my index.php let me open this project in a PHP storm 
So now we are going to implement the process. After you open in the project explorer here, you need to create a project in a console.cal.google.com. Because I've created some projects for you, I'm going to create a new project. As you can see, I've I've created this project, this one and this one, and I'm going to assume that you don't know how to create this project. But if you know to to create the project and set other environment setting, you can skip this part. I'll give the name as. Google Mail that is I want to send email to Google you can leave the default as an organization and click create now we have created a same project we need to enable the API because by default is disabled. So enable here. We are going to use Google Gmail API. If you are going to use another API, just select it in the list and enable. Now you can see some settings have been default. So to use the, this API, you may need the credentials. Click here in the create credential. An API will be selected by default. And since I'm going to use to require the user data, like username, email, or profile picture, I will select this one, user data. Then click on next thing. You can insert the information as required. Click save and continue. Something, something more important again is to add scopes. Scopes ex express the permission your request used to authorize for your app. You can you can select or you can search among these scopes that is if you are going to only read the email select read if you are going to send email or compose if you are going to read labels you are going to read stories you can select the scopes but now i'm uh, i've selected modify here so that i'll be able to read compose and send emails Select here as a web a web application because you are using a web and the name I give it as PHP mailer. Now this authorized URL is the home page of you is equal to the home page of your server and this redirect URL are are the URLs that when a login complete a user is redirected to this with the code and state now click create here you can download the credentials here have been created now I've downloaded this credential this credential we are going to use in our web server Now 
already opened the credentials and I'm going to rename it as my credentials. Don't add extension here. And I'm going to paste in the home directory of my project. You can see it is open by default and it contains some text. So friends, in this file, we need to code the algorithm for our web server to send email after we have created the project. So my friends, watch the next video after this one. The link is in the description and I'll provide in this screen at the end. Thanks for watching.